special occasion speech, speaking in praise. And I think this is the toughest type of speech to do because she's honoring a departed dear friend. Please welcome Angela Long in honor of Harold Wayne Churchill. I'm sorry, five to seven minutes, my fault, five to seven minutes. Angela. Churchill is a very kind and gentle man. Living to a ripe age of 104 years is amazing itself. However, in my opinion, his highest achievement is the way he loved other people. I got to know Harold through Katie, his wife. We had just moved into a brand new home I walked into the sales office to ask a few questions. Katie was there. She was beaming with joy, telling everyone about their new granddaughter, showing off a, the cutest picture of a, an Asian baby. Their daughter and son-in-law, Mike and Kate, Kathy, just adopted a baby, Korean baby. As we get to talking, we find out we were across the street neighbor. Harold is always very helpful and very kind to people. Since my ex-husband had no handyman skills and we had zero tools, and Harold is the one who always came to the rescue when there's anything needing to be fixing in the house. They travel a lot, and one day, they gave us a house key and said, when we are not home, just come in and get and borrow whatever you need. And we did. Harold had a lot of tools. <laughs> when two years later, we moved to Carmel Valley to be closer to work, without asking Kate, Katie and Harold volunteered to help us to move. Before I knew it, Harold had unhooked the washer and dryer, put it in his Volkswagen minivan, drove over 40 miles. When I saw that, I said, Harold, you shouldn't have done that. He looked at me, he said, I'm old, I'm not dead. <laughs> And then he hooked up the washer and dryer for me. He was almost 78 years old at the time. They travel a lot and they enjoy traveling. Katie told me a story about when they went to Australia, they went to, on a harbor cruise that was chilly and cold and windy. A lady was shivering on the ship. Harold took off his jacket, offered it to her to, so that she can keep warm. Three of them started talking. Harold and the lady find out that Harold and Katie were flying back to the United States on Continental Airlines. And the lady happened to be the head stewardess for Continental. She upgraded them from coach class to first class when they flew from Australia back to the United States. They stopped traveling when Katie's health declined, get, declining, getting worse and worse, and Harold has been taking care of her, mostly at home by, her, by himself. Harold told me that he grew up with horse and buggies. No television, no, tele no telephone, and perhaps many other things that we took for granted today. And then he witnessed the first man walking on the moon. And he was always fascinating, always fascinated by the change of technology. He could not understand how people like his grandson, Mike, could take a picture of his family, his brand new baby, send it through the internet, 
and they got it in California. They could view the picture on the computer, and they can also print it on the printer at home. He couldn't understand that. He was more used to putting the film in the camera, take, it, take the film out, take it to the photo development place, and get the picture. Carol always expressed how blessed he was having two amazing, loving, and caring daughters and wonderful son-in-laws. And of course, the joy of having four grandchildren and many great-grandchildren. Harold has taught all who knew him about love. He, he showed them through his acts of kindness that we, we can love and help other people. Today, we celebrate the long life of Harold and most of all, his loving nature. With, with appreciation and gratitude for Harold's love, we will carry on. We will carry on to love others as he has loved us. We will carry on to help other people as he had reached out to help us. God bless Harold for his timeless lesson, loving thy neighbor as yourself. We will think of you always, Harold. You are in eternal love and peace. You can see clear now, clearly now, through God's eyes, how much we love you. Please take 45.